Hello guys, very welcome to my Vanitar. I hope you are doing absolutely fantastic. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to measure differential signals using oscilloscope. Specifically, I'm gonna examine the internet ADSL2 plus signals which is offered on a traditional telephone line. So stay tuned and let's take off and fly to the electronics lab. Alright, welcome to the test bench. This is a two channels oscilloscope and I have removed the ground leads of these two probes. So uh, this is a telephone line. Now I'm gonna connect the probes to the lines. So let me connect this remaining line. I'm gonna remind you that majority of oscilloscopes are ground reference. It is different from a multimeter which makes floating measurements. I think it's better to zoom in on the oscilloscope screen to show you the details better. As you see, I have set 100 volts for both channels. Now I'm gonna make sure that I have set AC coupling for channel one and channel two. This is channel one. Channel two AC coupling inverted off is correct. So let's enable the math function. Factor one should be channel one. Uh, minus which means difference from channel to okay and now i'm gonna adjust the volt division of the mass result two volts seems to be okay unfortunately this oscilloscope doesn't have a trigger on the mass so i'm gonna change the time base and find the best view by using a run stop button so now I play with the oscilloscope's run stop button to find the best example. Maybe this one is not bad. I'll try another one. This one is perfect. You can see the inverted and non-inverted signals. This is an ADSL2 plus differential signal. It's pretty clear. You can see that. It's much better that you use twist pair wiring if you deal with the differential signal. Okay, that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share your opinion in the comment section below. Catch you next time.